to make your home more defensible against wildfire. What have you got to lose except everything? Welcome to Bill Brown Stadium, home of the Blacksburg Bruins. We are midway through the first quarter, a little bit midway through. Had a late start due to Virginia Tech basketball. There's five minutes and 33 seconds left right now in the, th in the first quarter. The Bruins up 13 to nothing over Christiansburg after an uh, onside kickoff from the start of the game where Blacksburg uh, uh, kicker Caleb Violet recovered his own onside kick to surprise Christiansburg. And on the first play, uh, Tyler Holmes caught a 50-yard touchdown pass from uh, 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 from Trey Gresh to go up 6 to nothing, And then uh, after that, Blacksburg recovers a fumble, and now they have uh, scored again. And then their kick was blocked. The PAT was blocked by Christiansburg. And that's where that puts them ahead now, 13 to nothing. They just kicked off to Christiansburg, and an excellent return by Christiansburg out to the 35-yard line. So they're going to have the ball in very good field position to start off this first drive down 13 to nothing. Defensive starters for Blacksburg tonight, Sean Bennett at number number four, defensive end, Tay Ramsey at defensive tackle, Daniel Overstreet, number 77, also at defensive tackle, Aaron Barber, number 85, at defensive end. Your linebackers, number six, Tyler Holmes, Adam Siegel, number 32, Joey Phillips, number nine. Your secondary, John Cook, number seven, Greg Keyes, 43, Robert Sturette at safety, number 24. And on first down, Christiansburg runs it up the middle for no gain. Looks like it is, uh, yep, it is number four for Blacksburg. Sean Bennett in on the tackle. No gain on first down. Going to bring up a second and ten. Five minutes and five seconds left to play in the first quarter. Blacksburg already used up one timeout. They only have two left. So far they've been looking good tonight. That uh, first play from scrimmage for, for Blacksburg. A nice 50-yard touchdown bomb from Trey Gresh to Tyler Holmes. Just completely caught Christiansburg off guard on a play-action pass. Christiansburg comes up to the line now. Their quarterback is number seven, West Bond. He hands it off around the outside to number 23, Keith Johnson. He rumbles ahead for a 12-yard gain. That's going to be a uh, first down for Christiansburg. Nice little run there around the outside. Got some good blocking for him. Blacksburg just could not close on the outside for that one. That's uh, Christiansburg's first first down of the game. So this uh, the, the moment of the momentum tonight definitely going towards Blacksburg all game long. And you can tell from the score, 13 to nothing. That's uh, that's a pretty good lead for them to have here in the first quarter. Christiansburg coming up to the line. One wide receiver split out right. That is number three, Sid Brown. Handoff up the middle. Barrels ahead for about four yards. That is number 32, Ryan Fisher for Christiansburg. Just powered ahead for about four yards there now. And there's a nice little run up the middle. Blacksburg closed in on him finally. Tay Ramsey coming in on the tackle. Christiansburg coming back up to the line. Quarterback, number seven, West Bond. Double split out to the left for Christiansburg. Fullback in motion. He gets the handoff around the outside. And he takes it up for a two-yard gain to the Blacksburg 42, 47-yard line. That's going to make it about third and three for Christiansburg. And uh, they have uh, they have not done so well tonight. That first down that they just got was their first first down of the night. And uh, they really haven't had the ball on offense at all. Blacksburg's pretty much been taking it over. They kicked off, but like I said, they did do a, uh, a trick fake kick, which was recovered by the kicker, Caleb Violet. So Blacksburg essentially got the, the first possession of the game. They scored there, and uh, then they, they shut down Christiansburg. Christiansburg on their next drive and scored again on them, and now Christiansburg has the ball right back. And they come up to the line with uh, wide receivers on both sides of the field. Fullback in motion. Quarterback keeps the ball. He throws it out to the right side in the flat, and that's going to be good for, oh, that's going to be about two and a half yards. It's going to be real close. I think they're going to have to measure this one. 
very close on the first down here. That was number 23, Keith Johnson for Christiansburg getting it. And uh, number 9, Joey Phillips coming in on the stop on that one. Yep, they're going to measure it. Bring on the chain gun. This one's going to be really close. I think they might have gotten this one. Now, number six tonight, Tyler Holmes. Uh, there is a couple uh, minor injuries to Blacksburg. Tyler Holmes has a broken finger, but he is still playing. He has a uh, he has a giant cast on his uh, on his left arm, and he's the one that caught that first pass. and And it was a it was a nice long bomb. So I, I got to think that the uh, that the cast there is really, you know, not going to superly affect him in his catching ability. And it's going to be short by inches. Fourth down for Christiansburg. And yep, looks like they're nope. That's not a punt team. They're going to be going for it here on fourth down. Quarterback number seven, West Bond, comes out with the play. And they are in the huddle referee setting up the ball again. This is going to be a good game tonight, I think. Crowd is huge on both sides. The Blacksburg sides of the stands are full, as well as are the Christiansburg sides of the fans. This is a big rivalry. Big game for Christiansburg and Blacksburg as well. Referee's got him up at the line, just waiting for everything to get back set so he can blow it into play. And here we go. We're rolling. And the quarterback, West Bond, just powers through the line. Looks like he's going to pick that one up. Got about a yard past the first down marker. That's going to be a first down for Christiansburg, their second of the game. Blacksburg's going to have to turn. Uh, looks like Christiansburg might have found out how to do something on this defense finally. So defense going to have to start to band together and figure out how to stop this. Uh, it's, it's two first downs in a row. you got to figure out how to stop that sooner or later. They are on your side of the field. The ball right now at the, Christi or the Blacksburg 43-yard line with 2.49 left to play in the first quarter. Blacksburg leading 13 to nothing. First down and 10 for Christiansburg. Westbound comes to the huddle. Now he brings his team up to the line. Two wide receivers, one to the left, one to the right. Number nine, David Dow split out left. And they're up to the line now calling the play. He hands it off to the halfback, and he's tackled in the backfield by no big number 86 for Blacksburg. Oh, excuse me, 85, Aaron Barber, six foot, 197 pound junior, bursts through the backfield and catches the ball carrier in the backfield for a loss that is uh, going to bring it up to second and 11 for Christiansburg. And that's not what they wanted to see happen on that play. An excellent play by the Blacksburg defensive line. They're really getting some good penetration tonight. I got to say, got to say that. West Bond brings his team up to the line. One wide receiver on each side, one back behind him, and he's got two split ends on either side of him. Goes back to pass, passes it out to the right, and it's broken up. Broken up by Greg Keyes and intercepted by Tyler Holmes off the tip. An interception for Tyler Holmes. Blacksburg has the ball back on their own 38-yard line. First down, Blacksburg. Wow. That was great. West Bond rolled out to the right and tried to find his receiver in the flat. Greg Keyes reached his hand around, broke that pass up, and tipped it up just long enough for Tyler Holmes to get there and dive in and make that interception. That is great defense by Blacksburg. Love it. All right, and the offense is now taking the field. They've already got the play. They're going straight to the line. Latrell Keyes is playing tonight. He is a little banged up on that ankle. He's not 100%, but he has been running very well, very strong tonight. Gives it to Latrell Keys. He's going up the middle. Plows his way forward for two yards. Going to bring it up to second and eight for Blacksburg. A minute 40 left to play in the first quarter. Christiansburg defense has been looking very spotty today, especially in the passing game. We found uh, 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 the, the second touchdown for, for Trey Gresh today was a uh, five-yard pass to Junior Brown, big number 89 in the back of the end zone. Junior Brown, six foot three, 190-pound sophomore. Kind of a guy that's not hard to miss in the end zone down there. That's the, guy, that's the kind of guy you want. But pretty much been able to pass on Will when we've been passing today. Blacksburg in the I formation. And Gresh takes a snap. He's back to pass. He's looking deep. Oh, and he finds Greg Keyes short. Going to be close to the first down. Oh, no, excuse me. That was a fullback, Charles Sullivan, coming out of the backfield. And uh, he, he reached out, caught the pass at the dirt. And he picked it up. Looks like he's going to be, oh, they're going to measure. He's almost, uh, almost got the first down here. We're going to find out in just a second. Either way, it's going to be third and short for Blacksburg. Crash coming over to the sideline to talk to his coach for a second. 54 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Blacksburg 13, Christiansburg 0. And they're measuring the ball now. 
Looks like he's going to be short by about one chain length. Usually in this kind of a situation, this is where we'll see uh, Trey Gresh, who is a very qualified runner. He's got a, he's, he's done very well in the year rushing. Uh, uh, Trey Gresh has 228 rushing yards. So uh, he is definitely a threat there. And, and when, when it comes up to third and short, and you just need to get that one little one little oomph, you can usually give it to Trey up the middle. He'll just, you know, he'll follow his center. Uh, you know, got a, got a good center here on the Blacksburg. Cameron Sellers, 6'2", 265 pound senior. When you need a half a yard, that's who you got to run behind. Works every time. Coming up to the line, one right receiver out to the left, and that's just what they do. Trey Grash up the middle. Oh, and he's breaking it. He's got five yards on it. Nice, powerful run by Grash. He pulled it off to the right side and plowed through the outside linebacker for Christiansburg. Got an extra five yards on that one. That's definitely going to be a first down for Blanchburg. 32 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Ball is on the Christiansburg 46-yard line. So 46 yards till six more points for Blanchburg. Greg Keyes coming out split left. The rest of the offense coming up to the line now. They're going to be in an I formation. One wide receiver split out to the left. That is Greg Keyes. And Latrell Keyes' his brother in the tailback position. Gresh takes the snap. He's back to pass. He's looking for Keyes deep. Beautiful pass down the sideline. Oh, it's, oh, it's intercepted by Christiansburg. Number 20, Patrick Ascani picked off that ball right out of the air. Almost looked like he caught it one-handed. That was a great pass to Keys down the left sideline. Nice, beautiful spiral, good arc. But it just, if it just, if another foot longer, and that would have been, a, you know, just a perfect play. But unfortunately, the Christiansburg, Christiansburg defender was able to jump up, get his hand in there, and pull that ball down. It's first down for Christiansburg on their own 15-yard line with 11 seconds to play in the first quarter. That's Gresh's first interception of the game. He does not. Uh, he does not have too many on the year. Only thrown. Uh, only thrown eight interceptions on the year. That's not even one a game. And they give it to the halfback. He's going around the sideline. He's got a big hole. He's got some. Got some blockers to him. Tyler Holmes comes up from behind and catches the ball carrier from behind after a 20-yard game. Tyler Holmes is by far the leading tackler as well for the Blacksburg Bruins. He's uh, listed listed this week in the paper as one of the top in all the area in tackling as well. Also in receiving yards. He's quite a player we have here on Blacksburg. That's going to set up a first down for Christiansburg from their own 33-yard line. And actually, nope, that's the end of the first quarter. So we're going to go ahead and take a break. We'll be right back with the second quarter. Uh, you're listening to Blacksburg High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. Whether it's arts and culture, community events, great places to eat and shop, exciting athletics, you'll find it all in Blacksburg, the place to be. Welcome back to Bill Brown Stadium. It is the start of the second quarter. The Blacksburg Bruins leading the Christiansburg Blue Demons 13 to nothing. And uh, Blacksburg right now on defense. Christiansburg has the ball at their own 33-yard line. It is first down and 10 after a 20-yard run by Christiansburg. They're up on the line now. One, one wide receiver split out to the right. Fullback in motion takes the halfback from it takes the handoff from the quarterback. He's rumbling around the right sideline. Picks up about seven yards on that one. That was a nice, uh, nice rush down there on the uh, to the right side. So they might have caught the Blacksburg defense a little bit off guard. Tay Ramsey in on the tackle. What do you know? He's in on very, very many tackles this season, folks. He's a he's a hog down there on the defensive line. And uh, yes, he is. Uh, I believe he's only a junior. Yes, Tay Ramsey only a junior. Five foot ten, two hundred and thirty pounds. He'll be back next year. Blowing up the River Ridge District once again. A lot of players from Blacksburg are going to be coming back next year. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with, I'd have to say, next year. Quarterback takes a snap for Christiansburg, gives it to his halfback up the middle. He gets just past the first down. Uh, picks up about five yards, actually, past the first down. A uh, good second effort there by the Christiansburg halfback. Looked like he got, uh, he got picked up there right at the uh, first down line. But he got a good second effort, just plowed through for another four yards. This is going to be first down for Christiansburg. And they've got a first down on their own 47-yard line. 11-18 left to play in the second quarter. West Bond brings Christiansburg up to the line. They've got two wide receivers out to the left. Two split backs and one fullback. Oh, it's a reverse. Number 22 takes it up the middle. Tay Ramsey doesn't, he's not fooled. He grabs him and drags him down about two yards past the line of scrimmage for a two-yard pickup. It's going to make it second down and eight for Christiansburg. 
That was Zach Evans, a halfback from Christiansburg, on the carry. Taking a look at some first quarter stats, you got uh, rushing for Christiansburg, Keith Johnson, their leading rusher with two rushes for 30 yards, and Latrell Keys for Blacksburg, seven rushes for 26 yards. Christiansburg back up to the line, one split receiver to the left, hands it off to the halfback. He's taken down by number, who was that? Oh, that was Daniel Overstreet. Big Daniel Overstreet. He's, he's always the biggest man out there on the field, isn't he? That is a big guy out there. Daniel Overstreet is six foot four, two 225 pounds, and he's a junior. Pretty much this uh, this entire defensive front for Blacksburg is going to be coming back, uh, except for except for Sean Bennett. Uh, he's the only senior on the front line for, the, for Blacksburg. Christiansburg coming back up to the line. Wes Bond at quarterback number three. Sid Brown split out at wide receiver. Takes the snap, and he hands it off to the halfback. And he gets over the first down line before he's taken down by number six, Tyler Holmes. First down, Christiansburg. 9.49 left to play in the first quarter. Blacksburg still up 14 to nothing. All righty, Christiansburg coming back up to the line now. Number three, Sid Brown. They seem to run this a lot with just one split out receiver to the left. They have uh, two flankers, it looks like. And yep, number 22. Uh, Zach Evans takes a handoff around the right side, and he gets nowhere. Stop for a loss on the play again. Number 77, Daniel Overstreet on the tackle, taking him down behind the line. That's going to bring up a third down and 12 for Christiansburg. Now, Christiansburg is running this formation where they have they have two flankers, a halfback, and uh, pretty much uh, one wide receiver split out to the left. And they're sending one of the flankers in motion on almost every play. And a lot of times they'll hand the ball off to the flanker in motion. Sometimes they'll hand it off to the, to the halfback going straight up the line. And sometimes they'll just drop back and pass. So it's, uh, it's, it's got to be a little bit of a confusing offense to play against here for Blacksburg. West Bond takes the snap. He's back to pass. He throws a deep ball down the left side. Number three, Sid Brown has caught it. He's caught the ball over John Cook. And he's gone in for a touchdown. That's going to be a touchdown for Christiansburg. John Cook had good coverage on the play, but he just he just he didn't look back for the ball and didn't seem to know where it was. Put his hands up at the right time, but he just he had him in the wrong place. And Sid Brown was able to come down with that pass and uh, run it in for the end zone. That's going to bring the score to 13 Blacksburg and six for Christiansburg. Their kicker coming out now to try the extra point. Going to be number 23, Keith Johnson. Oh, no, it's Brad Cox. Number 25 is their kicker. And uh, they're doing this trick formation on the field goal team. And uh, there goes the line. They're running back to the middle now. It's a normal field goal. And the snap. It's down. Kick is no good. Wide to the left. Six Blacksburg, 13 Christ or no, excuse me, 13 Blacksburg, six Christiansburg. We're gonna take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Blacksburg High School Football Super Talk 101.7. What do you call it a funny bone? Why can't penguins fly? I can see safety. Can we go to the moon on vacation? If you think it's tough answering these questions, imagine the ones you'll get if your child is diagnosed with cancer. CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. Brad Cox set to kick off now for Christiansburg, and he's running to the ball, and the kick is away. Latrell Keys in the back to receive it, but no, it's going to be Charles Sullivan off to the left receiving the kick. He winds his way through the field to the left. He goes about mm, 15 yards of the field and turns to 25. Oh, and they're saying he fumbled. Let's see who's got it. Near the Christiansburg bench, so of course they're pointing their way. Let's see what the refs have to say. Oh, it's Blacksburg ball. First down and 10 for Blacksburg. That was kind of scary there for a second. So far away on the other side of the field that you can't really see what happened. Just everyone kind of went crazy, so you knew they fumbled. Had to hope that Blacksburg got it back, and they did. First down and 10 for Blacksburg, leading 13 to 6. 8:43 left in the second quarter. Blacksburg still with two timeouts left, as well as Christiansburg with two timeouts left. They both burned up one so far. They used those in the first quarter uh, before we joined. Before you joined us, so uh, that's why you know you didn't realize that those were used. But anyway, Blacksburg up at the line now. Split. Uh, they got twin receivers out to the right. It is uh, uh, Tyler Holmes and Greg Keys. 
Well, the trail keys gets the handoff, and he burns through the right side of the, the oh, side of the line. It's about five yards up there, going to make it second down and five for Blacksburg. Nice explosion seeing that out of uh, Latrell Keys. You know, he's had that ankle injury the past two weeks. He heard it, uh, what, uh, yeah, two, week, two weeks ago he heard that. And uh, he tried to play last week against Salem, but you could just, you could just tell that his ankle was, was really bothering him. But this week, you, know, you, can see, you can see where it's maybe bothering him a little bit when he's walking, but he is, uh, he is running like a horse tonight, most definitely. Blacksburg up the line. Greg Keys, he only split out to the left. I formation. And... Keys gets the ball up the middle again, following off from Josh's Price's blocks. The fullback picks up another four yards, going to make it third down and one for Blacksburg from their own 34-yard line. 7.55 left to play in the first quarter. Trey Gresh coming over to the sideline now to get the play from Coach Christ. And he's... Oh, looks like there's some confusion here between the coach and the quarterback. They're going to need to hurry up and get this one off. Don't want to get into a delay a game here. He's back to the huddle now, giving the play. Blacksburg coming up to the line. Twins to the right. The trail keys in the backfield. Gresh takes the snap. Play action pass. He almost slips. It's a bootleg to the left. Gresh takes off. He's got the first down and more to the 50-yard line. Oh, and he was hit late. Gresh was hit late out of bounds by the Christiansburg defense. They're going to tack some more on the end of that run. That was a good, uh, let's see here, 15-yard pickup there for Trey Gresh. On the on the bootleg to the outside, and uh, now they're going to pick up some more here on the late hit. Let's see what they call. I tell you, you know, Trey Gresh has got some legs on him. You know, you wouldn't you wouldn't think it because you know he's a quarterback, and you know you got all these other speed demons on this team. You got you know both of the Keys brothers, the Cheryl and Greg. They, those guys can both burn. You know, you got a. Uh, 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 you got you got number six, uh, Tyler Holmes. That guy can blaze down the field too. But you know, don't don't give don't take away from Gresh. This kid has got some speed, and when he gets outside, when he gets into some open field, he can really break away from people. He had one man to beat there, only one man, the safety, and he would have had a big 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 run, possibly even a touchdown. So now it's first down for Blacksburg on the Christiansburg 39-yard line. 7:18 left to play in the first quarter. Blacksburg in an I formation, twin receivers out to the right side. Gresh takes the snap, and he hands off to the fullback, Josh Price. Plowing ahead for about a three-yard gain. That'll bring up second down and seven from Blacksburg from the Christiansburg 35-yard line. And, yep, about seven minutes left. There goes the band making their exit down for the halftime show. Second down and seven, Blacksburg from the Christiansburg 35-yard line, 13 to six. Blacksburg leading Christiansburg right now. Trey Gresh has the play. He is in the huddle, calling it out to the rest of his team. Center comes out to the line. Blacksburg still in the I formation. Twin receivers split out to the right side. Oh, Christiansburg almost jumped. Oh, Keys takes the ball, and he gets ahead for about a five-yard gain off the right side, off of uh, big Gary Moyo's block, the right tackle, 6'2", 290-pound senior by far. No, I guess not by far, but he is the largest member of the Blacksburg Bruins football team, and that is always a good man to run behind. Good five-yard gain there. That brings up third down and four for the Bruins from the Christiansburg 33-yard line. we got Jordan Wade and Greg Keyes split out to the left side. Josh Price in a fullback right now, Latrell Keys at halfback, and of course Trey Gresh at quarterback in the I formation. Oh, looks like one of the uh, Blacksburg defensive linemen jumped. Christiansburg was bringing heavy pressure that time. They had nine, uh, not about nine guys in the box, seven of them on the line of scrimmage, and the other two looked like they were probably going to be blitzing too. So uh, I think that the pressure there might have gotten to some of the Blacksburg guys, and one of them jumped off sides a little bit before the snap. So that's going to bring it back five yards, make it a third down and about nine for Blacksburg from the Christiansburg 37-yard line. 5.50 left to play in the second quarter. Blacksburg still up by seven over Christiansburg, 13 to six. Looks like there's some confusion with the play calling today. Gresh is uh, still standing there next to coach. Oh, looks like uh, yep, Blacksburg's calling a timeout. So we will take a timeout and be right back. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Supertalk 101.7.
I hang out with a pretty trashy circle, the circle that helps this circle by recycling trash. We sort glass, plastic, separate cans, stack newspapers and magazines. Now, thanks to us, there are lots of products made from things we've already recycled. This cereal box wants your Sunday paper. These paper clips, in a more daring life, a 56 convertible. The circle works like this. It starts when we recycle trash at home and at work. It's completed when we buy products made from or packaged in recycled materials. How do you know the difference? Check the label for something called post-consumer recycled content. It looks like this. Make a mental note. Then buy the highest percentage of it you can find. You'll save a tree, you'll save energy, and in your own way, you'll help save the world. Complete the circle. Call 1-800-2-RECYCLE for your free shopping guide. Environmental Defense. Finding the ways that work. All right, we're back to Bill Brown Stadium. Christiansburg down to Blacksburg right now, 13-6. to The Bruins uh, came out early with a first-place score after recovering an onside kick in the first play of the game. Went up 7 to nothing, And then later, uh, after a punt from Christiansburg, traveled down the field and scored again on a five-yard pass from Trey Gresh to Junior Brown. That put up Blacksburg up 13 to nothing after a blocked Caleb Violet kick. And uh, then a long pass from Christiansburg brought the score to 13 to 6. Now Gresh has the pass from the shotgun. He's looking to pass down the field. Oh, and he overthrows Greg Keyes. Overthrows Greg Keyes. He's not that tall, Trey. That was uh, that was a scary pass because where he threw it, he also had uh, Jordan Wade streaking down the sideline past Keyes. So the defender there actually almost had a chance to catch that overthrow ball. Close to another interception for Trey Gresh. Got to be careful with those. Now Blacksburg's field goal unit comes on. Caleb Violet. Oh no, excuse me. Looks like Blacksburg's going to be punting from the Christiansburg 37-yard line. Gresh comes out to punt. Probably going to be a little pooch punt here. For Christiansburg, it's Sid Brown, number three, deep to receive the punt. Referee's taking a timeout now. Oh, Christiansburg taking a timeout. So we will take another timeout as well and be back in just a minute. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. Welcome back to Bill Brown Stadium. Blacksburg Bruins up 13 to nothing over, or 13 to six, excuse me, over Christiansburg. Trey Gresh back now to punt, and he receives the snap. Kick is away. It's a always oh, going for the corner on this one. Bounces at the 10-yard line. Takes a good bounce for Blacksburg down to the seven-yard line, and it is down by number nine, Joey Phillips, at the Christiansburg seven-yard line. On comes their offense. Needing 93 yards to get into the end zone. Five minutes and 41 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. And it's uh, it's been a good one, folks. High scoring. Well, not necessarily high scoring, but definitely some exciting scoring and a very exciting first quarter to this game. Five minutes and 41 seconds left to play. Bruins 13, Christiansburg 6. And uh, they are coming up now, like I said, on their own seven-yard line after a nice pump by Trey Gresh to pin them inside their own 10. Christiansburg in their standard formation. Two flankers, one wide receiver. Number seven, West Bond, takes the snap. And he hands it off to the halfback. He tries to get around the outside, but he's got nowhere. The Bruins just collapsed on him. That's a gang tackle. Number six, Tyler Holmes in there on the tackle, as, uh, as well as number 85, Aaron Barber. Good defensive play for the Bruins. Second down and seven from the Christiansburg 10-yard line. A pickup of three yards on the play, five minutes and 12 seconds left. Clock is running. Christiansburg comes up to the line. One wide receiver out to the right side. And that is number three, Sid Brown. West Bond takes the snap, gives it to the flanker in motion. That's number one, Seth Van Hoosier around the outside. And it looks like he loses a yard on the play. Daniel Overstreet and Bennett in on the tackle there. That is another good play by the Blacksburg defense. Only uh, they picked up one yard on that one. So that's going to make it third down and six yards for Christiansburg from their own 11-yard line. Coming in with the play now. Taking it to the Christiansburg Hall. Blacksburg 
Looks like they got their play called. They're set up and ready. Number three, Sid Brown split out to the left. Number seven, Wes Bond at quarterback. And we have a timeout by Blacksburg. So we'll go ahead and take another break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. So, Mom, what if something happens? Should I stay where I am and wait for you or go to Grandma's house since it's closer? There's no reason not to have a plan in case of a terrorist attack. Is there a place we all meet? If the phone doesn't work, how will I tell you I'm there? And one extremely good reason why you should. What should I do? Talk to your family about what you would do in case of an emergency. For more information, go to www.ready.gov. Welcome back to Bill Brown Stadium. A beautiful night for football. Weather is nice. Temperature is good. Not a cloud in the sky. West Bond takes the snap for Christiansburg. He throws it over the left side to number three, Sid Brown. Throws it behind him, and that's an incomplete pass. A little bit too far behind Sid Brown for him to catch that when he left his feet and threw his arms behind him. But he definitely wasn't going to be able to get his hands on that one. Now the Christiansburg punt team takes the field. And so does Blacksburg's punt return team. Number 43, Greg Keyes, back to receive this one. He's uh, standing on the Christiansburg 45-yard line, so you can imagine they're going to be getting some pretty good position here. Christiansburg punter is going to be kicking from his own end zone. Gets the punt away. It's a wobbly one and kind of short. Almost bounces off a Christiansburg player. Takes a bounce now to the 49-yard line of Christiansburg. And that's where it will be down. First down and 10, Blacksburg from the Christiansburg 49-yard line. Four minutes and 12 seconds left to play in this quarter. We have zero timeouts left for the Bruins and one timeout left for Christiansburg. Referees having a little meeting now at the middle of the field. What are they doing? Oh, okay, they're just uh, trying to get the chain gang back on, back on key. We're down there having a little powwow near the end zone. Yep. First and 10, 49-yard line of Christiansburg. Blacksburg has the ball. It's only 49 yards here to score, and they got four minutes and 12 seconds to do it with. Offense now retaking the field. They've probably already got their play. Going to go straight up to the ball and run it. Yep, that's what they're going to do. So they're going to be in the I formation now with uh, Tyler Holmes and Greg Keyes split out to the right. Got Josh Price and Latrell Keyes in the backfield. Gresh behind center. He takes the snap, hands it off to Latrell Keys at the middle. He gets blasted right, right in the backfield, but he bounces off that and rolls forward for about a one-yard pickup. Going to make it second down and nine yards go for Blacksburg. Just under four minutes left to play here in the first half, and looks like we're getting, uh, uh, looks like we're going to be hitting the spread here. Got a whole crew of receivers coming in, and yep, there goes Josh Price, the fullback, coming off the field. So here we're going to see some spread offense from Blacksburg. Yep, that's trips out to the right. Jordan Wade, Tyler Holmes, and Greg Keyes split out to the right. And Trent Woodle, number 88, split out to the left. Shotgun formation. And looks like Christiansburg is going to be taking their last time out here. All right, so we'll go ahead and take a break ourselves. That's no timeouts left. 3.33 left to play. Blacksburg up 13-6 to over Christiansburg. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. The best investment we can make is the investment of time in the lives of children. Children who will become tomorrow's leaders. That's why 4-H is so important. It's so rewarding to know that you're influencing or helping or developing other people. Kids are the future and if we can raise better human beings then tomorrow's world will be better. Discover the world together. Be a 4-H volunteer. To find out how, contact your local extension office. Trey Gresh takes the snap from shotgun. He's back to pass. Oh, there's some penetration, and he's taken down behind the line. It's a sack for Christiansburg. Going to be a five-yard loss on that one, bringing up third down. There was instant penetration that time. Gresh had nowhere to go with that when he tried to run it up the middle, but there was just nowhere to go. He got, he got taken down on both sides by two defenders from Christiansburg. Nowhere to pass, nowhere to run. 
Nothing you can do. Just don't drop the ball, I guess. That brings up third down and 13 for Blacksbury. 2.58 left to play in the second quarter. Blacksbury back in the eye formation. Charles Sullivan in at fullback now. Greg Keyes out to the left. Fresh back to pass. Oh, he's rolling out to the right. Good pressure. Oh, he's got lots of room to run. Lots of room to run. He's down to the 40 and out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Excellent 20-yard run for, oh no, excuse me, a 17-yard uh, run there for Trey Gresh. Picks up the first down for Blacksburg. It'll be first and 10 at the Christiansburg 35-yard line. Two minutes and 42 seconds left to play. Wow, that was great. That was great. There was uh, good coverage downfield, but they left him a big open lane to run down the right. They forced him out of the pocket, and that's exactly where he went for the first down. Good run by Trey. In the shotgun again, trips left. And it's a draw up the middle for Latrell Keys. He breaks it around the outside. One man to beat, and he's plowing through him down to the 10-yard line. 15-yard pickup. No, 25-yard pickup. I can't count tonight. 25-yard pickup for Latrell Keys on the draw right up the middle. Excellent run. And there's a Christiansburg player down right where Keys was running. That was a nice run right there up the middle by Keyes. You, that's the first time this game they've run that draw play. And, uh, well, it might be the second time, but the first time didn't work so well. This time definitely, definitely was well worth the effort. You know what? This Christiansburg player is down, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, take a short break while they attend to him. We'll be back in just a minute. This is Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. Treat a crash test dummy like a child. So why treat a child like a crash test dummy? If they're under four foot nine, they need a booster seat. Learn more at boosterseat.gov. takes a snap from the shotgun, hands it off to Keys for the draw play up the middle again. That one got nowhere. Only one yard up the middle. Christiansburg linebacker stepped up really nice there. Fill up the hole and take Keys down for a very short game. That's going to make it second and nine from the Christiansburg uh, what is that? The 12 yard line. Very nice. 12 yards to go to get that score for Blacksburg. The injured player for Christiansburg was number 43, Ethan Dickerson. Uh, one of their linebackers. He has left the field in his own power and uh, he should be okay. Should be able to come back here in the game. Shotgun formation. Oh, the snap goes over Gresh's head. He tries to fall on it but he, it's knocked away from him. Looks like uh... I don't know who has the ball here. There's a big pile around it. And Christiansburg ball. Snap goes over Gresh's head and behind him. And instead of jumping on it, he tried to pick it up. And uh, he got hit by a Christiansburg player as he did that and was not able to get his hands on the ball. And it kept rolling. Christiansburg was able to get on the ball. Now a flag thrown. Uh-oh. Looks like this might be unsportsmanlike conduct on, uh, on Blacksburg. Obviously, their players are not happy about what just happened. Let's see what the refs are going to call. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Blacksburg. Yep. Man, what a turnaround. We had the ball on the 11-yard line, and now the snap goes over the head. We lose the fumble, and they're going to tack on 15 yards. This is a huge momentum turn here for Christiansburg. Down by seven points. A minute 53 left in the first quarter. Uh, Blacksburg 13, Christiansburg 6. Oh, the Blacksburg players try to get their own bench riled up to match the Christiansburg bench who is going crazy right now. All right, Christiansburg comes to the line. They got the ball at their own 41 or 46 yard line with a minute 53 left to play in the second quarter. Now Coach Chris goes out and is talking to the referees. I guess he didn't like what he saw either. Yeah, he's just getting a good explanation now. I don't know what happened. It was right after the play when they when they called that Christiansburg had recovered the fumble. There was kind of a kind of a circle of Blacksburg players around where the ball was, and apparently somebody did something they weren't supposed to do, and they were in that pile there. So it's Christiansburg ball, and looks like we're getting back to play here. All right, back down. I have two wide receivers set up on this play now. 
And number seven back to pass. He's under pressure, under heavy pressure. He runs up the middle and he gets away. He's still running. Down to the Blacksburg 39-yard line, a pickup of 15 yards on the play. A broken play. He had nowhere to throw it, and he was under heavy pressure. That was uh, number seven, the quarterback, Wes Bond for Christiansburg, was under heavy pressure from number four, Sean Bennett of Blacksburg. And, and instead of throwing the ball or trying to get rid of it, he decides to go up the middle and picks up 15 yards. First down, Christiansburg. Two wide receivers, one on either side. Number seven takes the snap. He's back to pass. He throws it. He's got a man open. Oh, but he overthrows him out of bounds. Ball goes out of bounds on the Christiansburg side of the field. It's going to bring up second down and 10 yards to go. A minute 27 left to play in the half. Neither team with any timeouts left. So we're going to, probably going to be seeing some passing here from Christiansburg to keep that clock under control. All right. And... West Palm coming into the field. He's got the play from the coach. Giving it to the rest of his team now. They break the huddle. Coming up to the line. Blacksburg's playing a 5-3 defense today. Something they've been doing all year long. Quarterback's back to pass. He's looking deep. He's throwing over the right side. Oh, the receiver slipped, and it was an overthrown ball. The only person who was even close to being able to catch that was John Cook for Blacksburg, and that was even still well above his head. So that pass was to nobody. That's going to bring up third down and 10 for Christiansburg. Going to be a crucial down here. A minute 22 left to play in the second half, and uh, they do not get the ball back. Blacksburg is going to be getting the ball in the second half. So they, Christiansburg is probably desperate to get a score here, and they're going to need to pick up this third down and 10. Coming up to the line now, one wide receiver split to the right is number 20, Patrick Viscani. And number three, Sid Brown split to the left. Number seven, West Bond back to pass. He's looking down the field. He's got his receiver, but it's only a four-yard pickup. Only a four-yard pickup in the flat. It's going to bring out fourth down in six. We have another Christiansburg player down. I think that's their quarterback, number seven. Number seven, West Bond. Looks like he got hit pretty hard right as he was throwing the pass. Nope, it's not West Bond. He's still standing around. I'm not sure who that is. But anyway, that was uh, that was a third down and ten, and they were only taking a four-yard pickup on that short pass. Looked like that was probably his outlet route because everybody else is pretty much covered downfield. But I don't know. You, I think you got to go for the first down on that one. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, take him to the break while they attend to the injured Christiansburg player. We'll be back in just a minute. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. Your neighbors helped save a life last night. Be a volunteer. You can help save a life. You provide the time. We'll provide the training. To learn more, call the Blacksburg Rescue Squad at 961-1189. And on fourth down and six, Christiansburg quarterback Wes Bond throws a bullet to his, his wide receiver. That was number 20, Patrick Ascani, but it was just a little bit too hard. Bounced off his hands, couldn't hold on to it. That's going to be first down for Blacksburg on a failed fourth down play. First and ten from the Blacksburg 36-yard line. One minute and 11 seconds to play here in the second quarter. And uh, no timeouts for either team, so i got to imagine that we're just going to see Blacksburg here uh, run a few plays from the I formation and take this one into the half, if not just kneel it down. No, they're in the I formation, so they're just going to hand it off a couple times to the trail Keys. Charles Sullivan at the fullback. Keys takes the ball, and he's tackling the backfield for a one-yard loss. Flag on the play, though. Let's see what the flag is. It's going to be holding on Blacksburg. 
And not that it really matters, because minute minute eight seconds left, so I suppose Blacksburg could use a first down, but I don't think it's going to make a difference if Christiansburg accepts this penalty. And they certainly did. They're going to take it back. That'll make it first down and 22. First down and 22 yards. One minute and eight seconds left to play in the second quarter. Blacksburg up 13 to Christiansburg 6, and no teams have a timeout left. Blacksburg in the I formation, twins out to the right. Latrell Keys in the backfield, and Trey Gresh just keeps the ball and runs up the middle. Picks up about five yards on the run. Powering his way down the middle behind big Cameron Sellers at center, six foot two, 265 pound senior. Blacksburg does have a very good sized line. Uh, the, uh, the left guard, number number 62, Bo Gentry, a five foot eight, 268 pound junior. Right guard, Dale Davis, is a six foot one, 249 pound sophomore. And the right tackle, big six foot two, 290 pound senior, Gary Moyo. So when you need to run, you, you got the big hogs up front on this Blacksburg offensive line to do it. So I know they're just going to be running the clock out here to the end of the quarter. 20 seconds left to play. They only need to run one more play. I formation. Twin receivers out to the right. And Gresh just kneels on it. That's going to take it into the half. Yeah, with eight seconds to play, the clock's ticking down. And that's it. It's halftime from Bill Brown Stadium. The Bruins right now up 13 to 6 over Christiansburg, and they're going to get the ball back at the half. It's going to be a good second half here from Bill Brown Stadium. We'll be right back with a recap of the first quarter scoring, or first half scoring, and as well as we'll take a preview of uh, this weekend's college football game. So listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. Honey, would you get me some ice cream? Ice cream, please. Yeah. Thank you. Some things you just can't do without. It happens every night, all across America. Welcome back to Bill Brown Stadium, home of the Blacksburg Bruins High School football team. They are right now leading Christiansburg 13 to 6. It is halftime. Time to take a look back at the scoring that has occurred in the game. Uh, starting off with it, we, we, we joined the game late due to a Virginia Tech Radford uh, women's basketball game. So let me catch you up on what happened when you were gone. First play of the game, uh, the kickoff from Blacksburg to Christiansburg was a fake onside kick. And uh, Kayla Violet did one of those little dingers where it rolls about 10 yards for, or so. And then uh, after it rolled 10 yards, Violet just jumped on it because the Christiansburg players were definitely uh, not expecting to see uh, an onside kick come so early in the game. So we got the ball early. And then on the first play from scrimmage, Trey Gresh throws a 49-yard touchdown pass to Tyler Holmes. Wide open. It was a play-action pass. And, and completely, uh, once again, caught Christiansburg completely off guard. And, and Tyler Holmes was just wide open down the, down the middle of the field, and uh, Gresh hit him with a beautiful arcing pass, and that was the first score of the game. And uh, after that, they gave the ball back to Christiansburg. Christiansburg had to punt, and uh, we had Greg, or, uh, yeah, Greg Keys ran the uh, ran the punt back for about 20 yards, and then we drove down the field and had Junior Brown catch a five-yard touchdown pass from Trey Gresh. That was six minutes. Oh, uh, with six minutes and 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And after that, they're pretty much Blacksburg's been shut down on offense after that. Christiansburg with the only score after that coming uh, with eight minutes and 52 seconds left in the second quarter uh, when Sid Brown caught a 40-yard touchdown pass from West Bond. And uh, they, they missed that kick, and Caleb Violet on the second PAT had his, had his kick blocked. So that is where the 13-6 uh, to 6 scoring comes from. I'm principal of a new kind of public school. It's open up to 15 hours a day, year-round. It has loads of academic, cultural, and recreational activities. We have medical and dental services right here. Our teachers have more time to teach. Our students are better prepared to learn. There 
there's just one problem. We can't get the kids to go home. Find out how your public school can be more like this one. Call 1-877-LOVE-TO-LEARN. All right, we're back here at Bill Brown Stadium. Time to take a look at the uh, statistics that we occurred in the uh, in the first half here. Score, like I said, 13 to 6. Blacksburg is leading Christiansburg as far as first downs go. Blacksburg ahead in that category, 9 to Christiansburg, 7. Rushing yards almost identical, 86 for Christiansburg, 89 for Blacksburg. 62 of those coming from Latrell Keys and 25 from Trey Grash. Latrell Keys is looking like he's in his old solid form. 13 attempts, 62 yards. That's a 4.8 yard average per rush. That's what you've been seeing from him uh, all season long. He's uh, he's he's uh, he's pretty close to a thousand yards in the season. Had 830 coming into this game, and he's got 62 now. So that put him, puts him at 892 yards on the season. If he can have a 100 108 yard second quarter or second half, then. He's going to have 1,000 yards on the season. As far as passing goes, Trey Gresh is six completions for three attempts. He has one interception, 59 total yards passing with two interceptions. And the uh, the longest pass, that 49-yard bomb on the first play of the game to uh, to uh, Tyler Holmes. Also uh, passing for Christiansburg is Wes Bond. He's nine for three. He's got one interception, 46 yards, and one touchdown with a long of 40. So his other two passes only gone for six yards. Uh, as far as Christiansburg rushing leaders, 34 rushing yards for uh, Keith Johnson on three attempts. That's an 11.3 average, and their main rusher is Nick Thompson. He has nine attempts for 27 yards. They're holding down the main rushing threats from Christiansburg pretty well. Uh, receiving, nothing new there. Tyler Holmes is a leader. Uh, he has one reception for 49 yards and a touchdown. Charles Sullivan, the fullback, one for five. Uh, Junior Brown has one reception for five yards, and he has the other touchdown reception. Trey Gresh not having uh, such a great day in terms of punting as he usually does. He's got about a 40-yard average on the year. Today he's got one punt for 30 yards, but that was a... Uh, that was a, 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 a close punt, so he had to pin him down inside the 10-yard line, so you can't really put that one against him. And as far as punt returns, Greg Keyes has one for 19 yards, and Charles Sullivan one kick return for 13 yards. All right, that does it for the statistical breakdown. There is really only one boy, one girl, one tree, one forest, one ocean. One mountain, one sky, and one simple way to care for it all. Please visit earthshare.org and learn how the world's leading environmental groups are working together under one name, Earthshare. One environment, one simple way to care for it. Welcome back to Bill Brown Stadium, home of the Blacksburg Bruins High School football team. The Bruins up right now 13 over the Blue Demons of Christiansburg. They have six points. It's a seven-point lead for Blacksburg, and they're going to be getting the ball here coming out of the gates. Still got about six minutes left here in the halftime show. It is a seniors' night here, so before the game we had all the senior football players and cheerleaders. Uh, they came out and had a little presentation with their parents before the game. And uh, right now it is senior night for the band. So the band just had a nice little performance, and now we got all the parents out here. You know, uh, Jimmy Newburn from Big Dog Sports Talk. His daughter is on the Blacksburg High School Bruins football band, so he's going to be out here tonight somewhere in the stands as well. But uh, so it's senior night. They're getting all their accolades and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, while that wraps up, I think we're going to go ahead and take another break. When I come back, we should be getting close to the start of the second half. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins. Welcome back to Bill Brown Stadium. About two and a half minutes left here in the halftime. The Bruins up 13 to nothing over Christiansburg. Well, I got this chance. I'd, I'd, I'd like to go ahead and talk about the uh, the way the playoffs are shaping up. Region 3, Division 4, that is where Blacksburg was hoping to get their shot. Uh, Salem, Amherst County, and William Fleming, they all won their uh, district titles, so they are in. The the, the toss-up was heritage, there, but they were, they were, people were thinking that possibly, uh, you, you know, if Heritage, they're playing, uh, they're playing last place Appomattox tonight. So it, people were thinking that maybe if Heritage had lost to Appomattox, then uh, then possibly that that would mean that uh, Blacksburg would be able to 
uh, catch up on some points, uh, as well as Jefferson Forest. Jefferson Forest and Blacksburg are the two teams in the running to uh, take over Heritage if they were to lose to Appomattox. But after some closer uh, some closer scrutiny, looking at the uh, looking at the numbers just a little bit more, it's been decided that uh, Heritage has wrapped up the wild card spot. So uh, playoff hopes for Blacksburg. And those are pretty much dashed for this year, even though in the paper this morning they were listed as uh, still alive but barely breathing. The points just not going to be working out for Blacksburg this year, but that doesn't matter because next year, next year this team is going to be great. I mean, you know, you got sophomores and juniors all over the place. All your key positions are, are juniors, you know, most of them. So they're going to come back next year and they're going to have a lot of experience under their belt and they're going to know how to win. So. I think next year they're going to be able to put something special together. As far as Christiansburg go, uh, Region 3, Division 3, Hidden Valley, Christiansburg, and Brookville, they've all wrapped up spots in the playoffs. So Christiansburg is in. It's all a matter of where they're going to be seated. Uh, the Titans will be the number one seed with the win or a Christiansburg loss tonight. And Christiansburg will get the top seed if Hidden Valley loses and they win tonight. Or they're going to be clinching the second seed with the win or if they win tonight or Brookville losing told you, it's confusing. Brookville needs to defeat Jefferson Forest and have Blacksburg uh, beat Christiansburg tonight if Brookville wants to get the second seed, but they could lose the third seed if they lose to Liberty, and, or if they lose and Liberty upsets Amherst County. So, that's kind of what the playoffs are shaping up like. Blacksburg is not in, Christiansburg is in, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just really sad because Blacksburg had such a great season. You know, you look at them right now. They are uh, they're six and three overall, but they're only two and two in the district. And uh, Christiansburg is actually ahead of them in the district at three and one, even though they have the similar record. So Christiansburg's number two in the River Ridge district right now. Salem obviously is, you know, wiping that one up. They're nine and zero in the year, four and zero in district. So uh, they're going to get that playoff spot. Christiansburg going to get a playoff spot. Blacksburg, unfortunately, kept out of the playoffs this year. So. I guess, uh, you know, you, you got to come out tonight and hope that you can just beat your rival. They've had a great season. Nothing to be ashamed of for any of these Blacksburg players. they got to be feeling great about themselves after the couple of seasons they've had here past couple of years. You know, they've only won two games a year for the two seasons coming up to this. This year they come out and win six. Looks like they might win a seventh tonight, so they could possibly go seven and three this year. And that would be an excellent season for this Blacksburg High School football team. All right, looks like the teams are set up for the kickoff for the second half. Number 25, Brad Cox, set the kickoff for Christiansburg. And the kick is away. The Trail Keys back deep to receive the kick. He gets it at his own 10-yard line. He's running to the right, makes a cut up the middle, down to the 24-yard line of Blacksburg. First down and 10. Second half is underway. As far as defense goes in that first half, uh, leading tacklers for Blacksburg were Tay Ramsey with four solo tackles, three assists, giving him uh, five and a half total, total tackles. He also had a uh, forced fumble, and he hit the quarterback a couple times. So he has had an excellent first half on defense, Tay Ramsey. Uh, and, of course, Tyler Holmes always up there as a leader. He had three solos and three assists, giving him four and a half, uh, four and a half total tackles. He also had an interception in the first half. So Tyler Holmes and Tay Ramsey both having a great game on uh, defense, but right now the Blacksburg offense on the field. Trey Grass behind center in the eye formation. Greg Keyes comes in motion. Fake reverse. Latrell Keyes at the middle. Oh, he's belted. Belted after he gets about three yards. Hit hard. Looks like that was uh, number 68, Ian Cobb for Christiansburg getting the stop on that one. That is a big man right there. Ian Cobb is... 5'11", 210 pounds on the offensive line, so when he hits you, he, he hit him up high, too, and stopped the trail keys dead in his tracks. Tyler Holmes and Greg Keys split out to the left for Blacksburg in the eye formation. Charles Sullivan at fullback, Latrell Keys at halfback. Gresh under the center. He takes the snap, hands it off to Latrell Keys up the middle. He jukes his way forward for about a three-yard gain. Going to bring up third down, and it's like three and a half or so yards for Blacksburg. 11.04 left to play in the third quarter. Blacksburg up 13 to Christiansburg 6. Yep, looks like Blacksburg switching over to the spread formation. 
We have Sullivan coming off the field. Two more receivers coming in to take his place. Also, uh, tight end number 85 for Blacksburg is Aaron Barber. He's coming out. So, yep, we got trips to the left for Blacksburg. And one receiver out to the right. Gresh in the shotgun. He takes the snap. He's rolling to the left to pass. He's got a man. Uh, oh, he did not see the linebacker. Did not see Christiansburg linebacker number 21, Zach Weller. Threw it right at him, and I don't even think Weller was expecting to get it because he put his hands up at the last minute, and uh, he could have had an easy interception there if he was just ready to catch that one, but he bobbled it for a second, and Gresh got lucky. It'll be fourth down and three for Blacksburg. Trey Gresh is back to punt. He's an excellent punter on the year. He's ranked in the top five in, uh, in the whole area in, in terms of punting. Very talented little kid here. I guess he's not so little either. A decent-sized quarterback. And he gets the snap, the kick, almost blocked. A booming kick for Gresh. And we got number three, Sid Brown, taking it. He's racing around the left side, breaking a couple tackles, still running down the sideline. Gets it back to the 50 and down to the Blacksburg 43-yard, 45-yard line before he's finally taken out of bounds. Nice run back there by Sid Brown for Christiansburg. Made a few Blacksburg defenders miss. Looked like they had excellent coverage on the play with uh, one of the... One of the streakers from last week was right down in the returner's face, but couldn't make the tackle. Nice hang time on the pump by Gresh as well. Christiansburg comes up to the line. They have one right, one wide receiver out to the right. That's number 12, Matt Garnand. And the referee set the ball ready for play. West Bond down under center. Flanker in motion. He gets the he gets the handoff around the right side. He's got a blocker. He's down to the 40 and out of bounds at the 35-yard line, about a yard and a half shy of the first down marker. Blacksburg's not been so good tonight at dealing with those uh, flanker, those end-around plays when the, the flanker goes in motion and the quarterback, West Bond, just hands it off to him in the motion right after he gets the snap. Blacksburg's had a little, a little bit of trouble. Those plays are kind of quick hitting and around the outside, and uh, Blacksburg is more of a more of a power kind of a defensive team on the outside, so have a little trouble with those quick outside runs. Number 12, Matt Garnon split out to the left once again. West Bond under center, and number 23, Keith Johnson in the halfback. He gets the handoff, and he is tackled in the backfield by Tay Ramsey. Loss of a yard and a half on the play. Going to bring up third down and three. Tay Ramsey again on the tackle. He is all over the place tonight on defense, folks. He's fired up tonight, too. Tyler Holmes calling the play on the defense. He is the middle linebacker tonight. Christiansburg coming up to the line. Number 12, Matt Garnon split out to the left on this one. No halfback. And it's end around to the left. Number 33, Nick Thompson takes the handoff. And he's got the first down, and he's still running. Down to the 26-yard line. Looked like he was going to fall over the whole time he was running. He was leaning forward so far. No one could tackle him on that one. Just pushed him down. Nice eight or nine yard pickup there for Christiansburg. Give them the first down. That's going to be first and ten from the Blacksburg 27 yard line. Nine minutes and 23 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Blacksburg leading 13 to six. About to defend their own red zone. Christiansburg up the line. No wideouts. And it's a handoff to the left. Halfback takes it. He's got he's got 10 yards again on the pickup. It's going to be close to a first down for Christiansburg. Blacksburg defense having some trouble on this drive with the run. Yep, they're going to go ahead and measure this one. It's that close. Shouldn't take long. It's right over there, right in front of the chain. Should take about I don't know about 10 seconds or so if the refs are on their game tonight. First down for Christiansburg, 18-yard line. So that's uh, that's right there inside the Blacksburg red zone. And this, if you've been following the team this year, once the other teams get inside the red zone, this is when the defense for Blacksburg kind of tends to go a little bit crazy. Looks like we got a timeout here called by Blacksburg, so we'll go ahead and take a timeout too. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football and Super Talk 101.7. When I'm under, I don't breathe. I'm weightless. My heart races. I'm floating away. And when it's over, all I think about is doing it again. Michael Swan is under the influence of his volunteer swim coach. By spending time coaching, he helps Michael stay off the street 
and off drugs. Be a coach, a mentor, a volunteer, because you have something to offer. Blacksburg coming back out onto the line. This timeout should be over in just a second. This is the this defense. I would expect them to be stepping up right here because this is what happens all year long. Every time another team gets inside the black, you know, you, they'll, they'll drive down the field and you'll think to yourself, well, it looks like the Bruins are going to let them score. But then once they get inside that red zone, somebody steps up and somebody makes a play and somebody turns things around. So I would not be surprised to see Christiansburg definitely not, at the very least, not score. Up the middle with the halfback, he plows ahead for about a, hmm, looks like a nice seven-yard gain. They're still running at will on this drive against Blacksburg. Blacksburg having some trouble uh, on the on the offensive front. They seem to be getting pushed off the ball just a little bit by this uh, Christiansburg defensive line, which really is their bread and butter. If, 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 you, if, you, if you look up Christiansburg this year, the first thing you're going to hear about is their offensive line. They've got three studs there. They've got a center, a uh, left tackle, and a right guard who are all excellent blockers up there. The center is just huge, i got to tell you. Number 23 off the left on the flanker around. Oh, he's hit hard before he gets to the first down line. That's going to be just short, about third and one here. For Christiansburg. Let's see where the refs mark it. That's going to take him down to the nine yard line. Third and two. Two yards to go on this third down. Eight minutes and seven seconds left to play uh, in the third quarter. Christiansburg coming to the line now. One receiver out to the left. And the Blacksburg fans start to get some excitement too. They take the ball at the middle. It's going to be close to a first down. It's number 23, Keith Johnson, doing most of the running tonight for uh, Christiansburg. Looks like he's got the first down on that one. And once again, Tyler Holmes coming in to make the play there. Another tackle for Tyler. Christiansburg offense coming up to the line. West Bond at quarterback, number 23, Keith Johnson in the halfback. Bond takes a snap. He gives it to the motion man around the right side. He's got a blocker. Looks like he's going to be close. Down to the one-yard line for Christiansburg. And it's going to be second down and goal. From Brett. Blacksburg's one yard line. One yard to go for Christiansburg before they have a chance to tie this game up. That is something that Blacksburg definitely is not going to want to be seeing here. They don't want to see that score tie with Christiansburg. This is a big rivalry game. They want to win this one big. All right, second down and goal from the one yard line. He's hitting the backfield and he did not get in. He fell over. Number 23, Keith Johnson. Hit hard in the backfield by Tyler Holmes. Knocked him back, threw him off balance, and the guy just couldn't get his feet back on him before he got into the end zone. Another excellent play by the Blacksburg defense. This is what I'm talking about. Third down and goal. It's on the one-yard line. If they can stop him here, uh, I, I got to think that, you know, they're gonna, probably going to go for it on fourth down, but think of the boost you're going to get here if you can stop him on third. All right, they're on the line, and the quarterback keeps it. He gets pushed backwards. Let's see, if they, let's see where they mark him. They're not giving him a touchdown. It's going to be fourth and goal. Fourth and goal for Blacksburg, or for uh, Christiansburg. Aaron Barber in on the stop on that one. Excellent play by this defense. They're starting to step up here. Fourth down and one. And Christiansburg is taking a timeout. They want to discuss it. So we'll go ahead and take a break. We'll be back in just a minute. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. So we've done some things where he jumps off from the side. And we've done some things passing in back and forth. We've done some activities where he floats on his back and on his stomach. I think swimming is a fun thing you can do with your kid. And I think it's good for kids to learn about being in the water. The Water Babies class is one of the many classes that the Blacksburg Parks and Rec Department has to offer for you and your child. Call 961-1135 or visit www.blacksburg.gov backslash recreation. And 
on fourth and goal from the one. Uh, Christiansburg gets it to Big Keith Johnson to run it in, and he plows through and gets the touchdown for Christiansburg. He just fell forward right through the Blacksburg defensive front. That's six points for Christiansburg. The score now is 13, Blacksburg 12 for Christiansburg. They're going to come out now and try and kick the extra point. And like I told you before, they do the, uh, the weird trick formation where everybody lines up way to the left, just the center and the uh, pretty much the holder and the kicker in the middle. Yep, now the rest of the line coming into the center, and they're going to kick it. And the snap hold is down. The kick is up. And it's good. Tie ball game. 13-13. Bruins tied with Christiansburg. 5.47 left to play in the third quarter. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. Songbirds we enjoy each summer, winter in the rainforests. Orioles, terns, tanagers, and countless others fly to our yards each spring. An amazing gift of nature. Right now, many are losing their homes. With the destruction of the rainforests, migrating flocks have been cut in half. The time to act is now. From the cloud forests of El Triunfo to the lush Amazon, the Arbor Day Foundation's Rainforest Rescue is making a difference. You can help protect the rainforests. Go to arborday.org, see how to support Rainforest Rescue, and find out which trees to plant where you live. So our songbirds have a home in the summer and the winter too. Over half our planet's rainforests have been destroyed. Go to arborday.org now. Welcome back to Bill Brown Stadium. Five minutes and 47 seconds left to play in the third quarter. The Blacksburg Bruins hosting the Christiansburg Blue Demons. Right now the score is tied 13-13. to Christiansburg uh, just getting a, a touchdown off of a one-yard run by number 23, Keith Johnson, to tie the score up on a fourth and goal play. Right now, uh, lined up for the kickoff. Go number 25, Brad Cox set to kick. He's running to the ball now. The kick is away. The trail keys back to catch it, but it's going to go out of bounds. That's going to be illegal procedure on Christiansburg. So that means the ball is going to come out to, uh, I believe, the 35-yard line it is in high school. And, yes, it is the 35-yard line. That's uh, free field position for Blacksburg there on the out-of-bounds kickoff from Christiansburg. Something you just, you just don't want to do. We saw that in the Super Bowl, actually, a couple of years ago. Kickoff out-of-bounds really killed... Uh, uh, really killed, I believe it was Carolina. The Panthers. So that's, yep, a legal procedure on Christiansburg. And now they're getting the ball set on the 35-yard line. The, Blue, the Bruins offense set to take the field, and here they come. Looks like they're going to be coming up in an eye formation. I see uh, Charles Sullivan out there. Going to be a fullback. Yep, Latrell Keys back at halfback. Oh, they're going to huddle up. They don't even have a play. There they go. All right, we got Greg Keyes and Tyler Holmes split out to the right. I formation with Sullivan and Latrell Keyes in the backfield. Grish takes a snap. He hands it off to Latrell Keyes. Oh, he cuts to the left to find a big hole. A big hole out to the left. A 15-yard pickup for Latrell Keyes. He's out of bounds at the Christiansburg 48-yard line. That was a play that was probably not supposed to go to the left. But Keyes just, the hole was plugged where he was trying to run. So he just bounced out to the left side and found a huge hole out there and made the best he could out of it. That's a big 15-yard pickup by Latrell Keyes. Excellent run for Blacksburg. All right, Blacksburg in the spread formation now. Greg Keyes, Tyler Holmes, and number 14, Jordan Wade, split out to the right. He takes a snap, and it's a draw to Latrell Keyes up the middle. He's picking up five yards already. <laughs> Ooh, he just lowered his shoulder and plowed himself into Ethan Dickerson for Christiansburg. And Ethan Dickerson went stumbling backwards, and then Keyes just took off forward again before he was picked up by a couple more Christiansburg defenders. Good six-yard pickup on the play for Latrell Keyes. That leaves it with five minutes and zero seconds. Five minutes exactly left to play here in the third quarter. 13-13, score is all tied. Blacksburg Bruins on the prowl, though, inside of Christiansburg territory. Gresh takes the snap, and he's going to run to the left. He keeps it, and he's breaking free. One man to beat. He's still on his feet down to the 20-yard line. Tripped up. Another excellent run for Trey Gresh. He's been doing them all night. All night, when they need that one yard and short, they can get they can give it to Gresh, and they'll just plow it the middle. That's the second bootleg they've run, and uh, the second time that it's gone for at least 15 yards. Excellent play call by Coach Dave Christ, catching Christiansburg off guard. First down. 
First down Bruins from the Christiansburg 24 yard line. 24 yards left until that end zone. Four minutes and 35 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Score tied, 13 all. Blacksburg in the spread formation, trips right. Gresh gets the snap. He throws it immediately. It's a screen pass to the right to Greg Keyes. He takes the takes it and goes. He's still on his feet. Picked up about nine yards on that bubble screen out to the right. Nobody near him when he caught the ball. Had plenty of room to work with. That was a good play by Blacksburg. Once again, that's two in a row. Excuse me, an eight-yard pickup. That's going to leave it at second down and two from the Christiansburg 15-yard line. All right, looks like they're going back into the eye formation. Fullback coming back onto the field. It is Charles Sullivan. Greg Key split out to the left, as well as Tyler Holmes with the Giants. <laughs> i got to tell you, folks, it is a giant cast in his right arm. I don't know how he's going to catch anything. Coach Chris called him a one-armed player tonight. Latrell Keyes gets the handoff, and he's, he rolls across. He, he spins off his left tackle and uh, picks up just enough for the first down, I believe. Let's see if they give it to him. Referees are conferring about something in the middle. Hopefully it's a spot on the ball, and there they go. First down. First down, Blacksburg. Going to be from the Christiansburg 12-yard line. So they can still pick up a first down, and uh, they can pick up a first down before they get a touchdown here. Two receivers split to the left. It is Jordan Wade and Greg Keys. The trail keys in the backfield at halfback. And looks like one of the wide receivers stepped off a little bit early. Easy to do when you're out there at the wide receiver, though, because... You know, you really can't hear. You really can't hear the quarterback. So you have to. Uh, you have to kind of watch like a defender. You have, to, you have to look back into the middle of the field. And you have to watch the ball, and that's usually what you're cueing on. So, uh, you know, it's really, it's, it's really actually a very hard thing to do as a wide receiver is to not jump off sides like that, um, because you know it's, it's like a defender. You know, you really, you don't, you're not going off the quarterback. You're going off the ball. So it's, it's surprising it doesn't have more. In fact, that's the first time I think I've seen anybody from the receiving court jump off sides for Blacksburg all year long. All right, Gresh brought the new play in. He's given it to the offense, and they're back in the spread formation. Tyler Holmes, uh, Jordan Wade, and Greg Key split out to the left. Gresh takes a shotgun snap. He takes it out to the right. He's keeping it by himself. Oh, and he cuts out to the right. He jukes another man. Looks like he's got at least the first down. He's close to a first down. Another excellent run. Another excellent run by Trey Gresh tonight. He is really lighting them up with his feet. I think he's probably got more rushing yards tonight than he does passing. Uh, Blacksburg sending in some of their defensive crew. Number 85, Aaron Barber coming in. Uh, he does play some tight end for them. For them now. And also number four, uh, Sean Bennett has come in to play the other tight end. So Blacksburg in a... Uh, in a single back big set right now with two tight ends, and they give it to Keys off the left side, and he plows his way forward. It's a touchdown! Blacksburg has a touchdown, and they're up by six points. Latrell Keys off the left side takes the handoff and barrels forward through a Christiansburg defender and sticks that ball right over the goal line. Touchdown for Blacksburg. That makes it 19 to 13. Caleb Violet coming on to kick the extra point. Two minutes and 13 seconds left to play in the third quarter. This bodes well for Blacksburg, giving them, an, uh, giving them a lead going into the fourth, as long as they can hold on to it. Violet back to kick. Number seven, John Cook down to hold. Here's the snap. Ball is down. Kick away. And it's through the uprights. It's good. And that puts the Bruins up seven points, making the score of Blacksburg 20, Christiansburg 13. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. The best way out is by coming in. Going to family learning programs helps you and your family lead better lives. Call 1-877-FAMLIT-1 because making it after all shouldn't just happen on TV.
And Caleb Violet takes the kickoff. He kicks it deep. A boomy kick by Caleb Violet goes into the end zone. So uh, Christiansburg catches that ball in the end zone. And in high school, that is an automatic touchback. So the ball coming out to the 20. And that's what you want from your kicker. You want him to kick it into the end zone every time. You know, if you can kick that ball into the end zone on every single kickoff, and that means that nobody can ever return one on you, and that means that nobody can ever score a touchdown on the kickoff return. So that is an excellent job by Caleb Violet. Hope to see plenty more of him doing that uh, all next year. I believe he will be back. All right, Christiansburg up at the line. West Bond takes a snap. He hands it off to number 23, Keith Jackson, around the le- or Keith Johnson, excuse me, around the left side, and uh, he is tackled in the backfield. By number six, of course, Tyler Holmes lost a one on the play. That's going to bring up second down and 11 for Christiansburg. A minute and 53 seconds left here to play in the third quarter. Blacksburg, after that score, goes up 20 to 13. And uh, that is right where they want to be. They want to be in the lead of this game, obviously, because uh, I guess that's what you got to do to win. And this is their big rival. So this is the, one of the games they've been looking at all year long. West Bond under center takes a snap. He's back to pass. And he finds his halfback out in the right flat, but he is uh, he is eaten up pretty quickly by three Blacksburg defenders, but not after, of course, after he picks up about seven yards on the pass. That was number 23, Keith Johnson, on the uh, on the reception again. We had number seven, John Cook, as well as number nine, Joey Phillips, in on that tackle for Blacksburg. Number seven, West Bond, bringing in the play from the sideline. It's going to be a third down and two. From the 28, from their own 28-yard line for Christiansburg, big play for Blacksburg. They want to stop them here and see if they can get the ball back and get some more momentum swinging their way. Twins left, man in motion, and then the rest blow the play dead. There's a penalty on the field. Probably going to be false start. Normally, when they blow the play dead, that's a false start. Yep, it'll be a false start on Christiansburg. And that is uh, that is not what they wanted to happen. That's going to make it a third and about seven, almost eight for Christiansburg. That's a big third down. That's much worse than two and a half that they were, they were looking at. Blacksburg have been playing in a uh, 5-3 defensive front pretty much all game long. They, they haven't deviated from that even on passing downs. They've been standing in this 5-3 formation. It's been, it's been working fairly well for them. Except for that last drive, really. It's the only time they got pushed back consistently. One man out to the left for Christiansburg. Johnson goes in motion. He gets the handoff over the left side, and he is tackled again in the backfield. Number 57, Tay Ramsey, into the tackle. That's going to move him back another yard, make it about fourth and eight and a half yards. Fourth and eight. So here comes Christiansburg punt team. Greg Key starts walking back to receive this punt. And number 25, Brad Cox pulling double duty for Christiansburg. He's the punter and the kicker tonight. Back to take the snap. Snap is away. Punt is off. It's a wobbly punt. Not very deep. Keys catches it. And he taken down by the first defender he comes across. The guy was right in his face almost when he caught the ball. Pretty good coverage by Christiansburg. And Blacksburg has good field position. They have the they have the ball. Christiansburg 43 yard line. So they're already on Christiansburg's side of the field. And they're already up by seven points. So oh, and that's gonna do it for the third quarter. So uh uh, when we get back, we will start the fourth quarter. You're listening to Blanchburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. No one looks back fondly on the years they spent in a parking garage. When we lose a historic place, we lose a part of who we are. Help protect historic places in your community. Visit nationaltrust.org. All right, here we are at the start of the fourth quarter. Blacksburg up 20 to the 13 over Christiansburg. I formation. Gresh fumbles the snap. He jumps back on it, though, and he gets it back on his own. It's going to be second down and 10 for Blacksburg. Now you just hate to see that as a coach because that's the basis for starting your offense is getting that snap from the center into the quarterback's hands. If you can't do that, then you can't run a play. 
So, uh, you know, Coach Dave Christ, I'm sure, been working on that all year. It's happened a few times. Uh, not a whole lot, not as much as you would expect to see from a high school team, but it has happened a couple times this year, and that's, uh, that's, that's a good way to kill it down. So you got second down and 10 now from the Christiansburg 44-yard line. I formation. Gresh takes a snap. He play action, play action to uh, Latrell Keys, and he hits Robert Sullivan in the flat. Sullivan picks up the first down. That's his second reception of the game. And his second first down of the game. Excellent play, excellent call. Caught a lot of people off guard with that play action pass, and then nobody was covering the fullback. Gresh found him right there in the flat and picked up an easy first down. But they haven't moved the change yet. Oh, they're going to measure it. I guess he's too close. All the way on the other side of that field, making the chain crew run tonight. I like to see that. All right, they're going to set it up here in just a second. Let's see if we got a first down. I'll tell you what, Tyler Holmes is just all over this team. He is the leader on defense. He calls the plays from the middle linebacker spot, and he's in the huddle now for the offense, and he's just running around. He's smacking everybody in the head, trying to keep them fired up. And that's a first down for Blacksburg. First down and 10 from the Christiansburg 33-yard line. Tyler Holmes is just, he is the spark plug on this team. He is keeping everybody fired up and going. Been doing it all season long. Leading tackler, leading receiver. What more can you ask from a guy? All right, and we're set for play. Spread formation, trips left. Gresh takes a snap. It's another draw to Latrell Keith. Big hole up the middle. Oh, and he has got his legs taken out from underneath him uh, by number nine, the safety for Christiansburg. That is David Dow. Wow. Keys was hit hard, and he had a big, huge hole to run through on that draw, and he hit it pretty hard. He got he got the first down, got 10 yards out of it, but he had his legs hit real hard at the end of that play. Flew over his head. Blacksburg back up on the ball to spread formation. Trips to the left. Tyler Holmes, Jordan Wade, and Greg Keys. Latrell Keys, the only back, and it's another draw to Latrell Keys. Looks like he had a little trouble there getting the uh, getting the handoff from Gresh, and it laid him up the hole a little bit. No gain on the play. Second down and 10 yards to go for the Bruins. 10 minutes and 34 seconds left to play. They're up uh, 20 to 13 over Christiansburg, leading their crosstown rival by seven points. Both teams have two timeouts left. Christiansburg, or, uh, Blacksburg just now reached the red zone of Christiansburg. And Gresh takes a snap. He hands it off to Keys around the outside. Makes a man miss before he's taken down for a three-yard game. That'll bring up third down. You know, we were told coming into this game that uh, Latrell Keys was not running at 100%, but I'll tell you, it's it's not really showing. He really is he really is running very hard tonight. He's hitting those holes with authority. He's juking. Something he was not able to do for the past two weeks was use his, uh, use his feet and, and cut and plant, and uh, that is something that he's doing very well tonight. There was a play earlier where he, he stopped on a dime and cut back outside play where the play was not supposed to go, but he found a big hole, and, and you know, he got a big first down. And he's been running well tonight. Back up on the line. Twins left. Eye formation. Gresh keeps it. He's bootlegging to the right. Oh, and he is taken down hard from behind. I believe in the NFL that's what they call a horse collar. And that's going to be fourth down. That's unfortunate because uh, he, was, he was taken down hard from behind. The guy just grabbed his shoulder pads and... And brought Gresh down. He had big field in front of him if he got by that. Caleb Violet out now to attempt the field goal. Going to be a 42-yard 40, attempt here. Number seven, John Cook down to hold. There's the snap. Ball is down. Kick is away. And it is good through the uprights. Add three more points to the Bruins score. That makes it 23 to 13, a 10-point lead for Blacksburg. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7.
There is a better way to have fun with history. Visit americaslibrary.gov. Log on, play around, learn something. And we're back, and on the kickoff, Kayla Violet gets a good leg into it, but it goes out of bounds right on the five-yard line. Almost made it to the end zone on that one, but uh, just a little bit short and out of bounds. That's illegal procedure on Blacksburg. So the Christiansburg Blue Demons are going to have the ball at the 35-yard line. Interesting thing about Christiansburg, the Blue Demons, they, they, don't, they don't have any blue in their uniforms. They're pretty much straight uh, gold and black and white, so... Blacksburg is the blue team out there tonight, but they are the Blue Demons, and we are the Bruins, so that's okay. Christiansburg coming up to the line. Two wide receivers out to the right. Number three, Sid Brown, who caught that one touchdown pass earlier. Number seven, West Bond, throws it out to him on the flat on a screen pass, and he picks up about two yards, but does not get out of bounds. The clock is running. That'll bring up second down for Christiansburg. Eight minutes and 30 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Both teams have two timeouts left. Blacksburg up by 10 points, 23 to 13. West Bond bringing the play into the huddle. Now he's bringing his team up to the line. We have number 12, Matt Garnon split out to the left, and number three, Sid Brown split out to the right. West Bond takes a snap. He's back to pass, and intercepted. Intercepted by number nine. And he is down to the 34-yard line of Christiansburg. Joey Phillips picked off West Bond like it was nothing, threw it right at him like it was meant to go to Joey Phillips, takes that ball down to the 35-yard line of Christiansburg. Blacksburg has the ball back, and they are in scoring position. Might be able to put this one away early tonight. 7.59 left to play. He just jumped as high as he could, he could on that one and got his hands on the ball. Excellent play by Joey Phillips. Tyler, Tyler or, uh, Latrell Keys gets the ball. He takes it up off the left side and he picks up about three yards on the play. Going to bring up second down and seven for Blacksburg. Chris coming over to the sideline to get the play from Coach Chris. And in comes a bevy of receivers. Looks like we're going to be seeing the spread formation here. Oh, no, nope, they came back out. We're going to stay in the eye. Number three, Caleb Schrader comes on to bring in the play to the huddle. And number 85, Aaron Barber comes on out. Coming up to the line, we have Tyler Holmes split to the right. Greg Key split out to the left. Charles Sullivan at fullback. And Latrell Keys at halfback. Fresh under center. Takes the snap. Picks a good pickup on the blitz. He's back to pass. Has a man deep, but he's, he's scrolling to the right. Greg Keyes catches it on the run for a first down. Fresh had nowhere to go, so he sprinted out to the right. Found Greg Keyes just past the first down marker and hit him in perfect stride. That's going to be a first down for Blacksburg from the Christiansburg 21-yard line. Excellent play by this offense. Seven minutes left to play in the game. Blacksburg up by ten points, and they are knocking on the door. Oh, so the ball is down on the uh, on the 17-yard line, and now Christiansburg takes a timeout. So we'll take a timeout as well. Blacksburg up ten points. You're listening to Blacksburg High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. When Davies and Rats were playing in the woods, what if the magic and that's no good? Yeah. Don't play with matches. Don't play with only you can prevent forest fires. Fire. Chris takes a snap from the eye formation. He hands it off to Latrell Keys and he bangs forward for a five yard pickup off the left guard, right off a of big. Uh, excuse me, right, yeah, right off the uh, left guard. That is uh, Bo Gentry tonight, I believe. Another good play for the Blacksburg offense. Gets him just a little bit closer to picking up that extra score and going ahead to, uh, to a place where Christiansburg probably can't catch him. Up 10 points right now. They're inside the red zone at the 14-yard line of Christiansburg. It is second down and six yards to go. Single back formation, two tight ends in, and a flanker. 
Gresh keeps the ball and he just sprints up the middle and he's in for the touchdown, powering his way through, forcing it. Nobody saw that one. He just kept the ball and sprinted right through that hole off the guard. And uh, there was nobody that could touch him. He just, he, he had a guy wrapped around his legs, but he just kept on chopping and he got himself in the end zone. Another great play for Trey Gresh. He is running like a man tonight. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I live the Army values. I will never. I will never. I will never accept defeat. I am disciplined, physically and mentally tough. I am a professional. I am a professional. I am the guardian of freedom. And the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am the Army National Guard. Defend freedom. In the Army National Guard, you can. Visit 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM today. Caleb Violet to kick off. Kick is away. It's another high boomer down to the seven yard line, and it's fumbled by Christiansburg. They just barely picked it up. Number 23, Keith Johnson, fumbling the ball, and then number nine for Blacksburg. That would be. I keep losing my stinking roster. That's number nine, Joey Phillips. A lot of kids in these teams. It's hard to remember all their names, but Joey Phillips down there on the tackle. He just had a big interception for Blacksburg, so he is definitely heating up here in the fourth quarter. Christiansburg has the ball on their own 15-yard line. Six minutes and 11 seconds left to play. Bruins up by 17 points, 30-13 to 13 in the fourth quarter. They've really blown up here in the fourth quarter. Christiansburg on the ball. They have three wide receivers, some we haven't seen all game long. Quarterback back to pass. He's looking deep, throws it long, and it's intercepted straight to Greg Keyes. He's got another interception on the year, and there's a flag on the play. Let's see what this one's going to be called. That pass was directly to Greg Keyes. That was right to him. He didn't even have to move. All he did was put his hands up, and he caught it. Perfect pass right to Keyes. That gives him seven interceptions on the year. And uh, assuming that nobody else that had seven interceptions, I think it was only three or four people in the whole area that had seven, uh, that puts him right there at the top of the list with everybody uh, in all of high school football in Southwest Virginia. So he is having an excellent year as a secondary DB. And, and you gotta love it. You gotta love that. Another interception for Blacksburg. They can hold on to this ball, barring this penalty, and they're gonna have the ball on the 15-yard line of Christiansburg. Let's we'll see what the refs are gonna call here. It's like, uh, oh, unsportsmanlike conduct on Christiansburg. So that's half the distance to the goal. Ball is now on the seven-yard line. Blacksburg is just seven yards away from putting seven more points up on this board. Oh, Blacksburg trying to call a timeout. One of the referees looking. All right, we got a timeout for Blacksburg, so we'll take a timeout as well. We'll be right back in just a minute. You're listening to Blacksburg High School Bruins football on Super Talk 101.7. Mixed messages about women and violence. I need a little clarification. Uncle Bill, how am I supposed to grow up to respect women when I have such lousy role models? Boys are never going to approach you. Can you help me reshape my attitudes towards women? You need to teach them that violence against women is wrong. And Jason Emmel has come into the game to replace Latrell Keys at halfback. Uh, you know, it's five, and a, five minutes and 47 seconds left in the game. Blacksburg up by 17. Might as well let the uh, second stringers get some work here. Trey Gresh is still in a quarterback. Uh, also, we have number 10 coming on for Blacksburg. And I don't even have a number 10 listed on my roster. So, last game of the year, you know, you got, you got, you got some downtime here. You're winning by 17 points. So, you might as well get the guys in there that don't have a lot of time. This is probably uh, one of those JV players that came up from JV playing up on varsity. Didn't get his name, but Emil racing ahead. He picks up a... Uh, 
Picks up about four or five yards on that play. Down to the six yard line. So if Blacksbury can go ahead and get themselves in the end zone here, I'd say they've uh, officially got this one pretty much wrapped up. Five minutes and three seconds left to play, up by 17 points, 30 to 13 uh, over Christiansburg. I believe both teams have only one timeout remaining. Eye formation. Gresh takes a snap. He gives it to Emil. He's blasted in the backfield by Christiansburg. That was number 21 for Christiansburg, Zach Weller. Defensive back came up to make the stop on Emil. And it's going to be fourth down now, so we're going to see Caleb Violet cut out and attempt another field goal. And Gresh is uh, not happy about the play calling, it looks like. You know what, though? you got to do what the coach tells you. That's all right. I think he wanted to throw one there. All right, Violet set up to kick. It's going to be a 26-yard field goal. Snap is down, and the kick is away. Kick is good. Send them through the uprights. Ruins 33. Christiansburg Blue Demons 13. You're listening to Blackbird Ruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. What have we learned, buddy? We've learned to get Michael's face wet, float on his back, it splashes on his face. I would recommend this class for other people because Michael really enjoys it and it's really taught him a lot about getting into the water and feeling very comfortable in the water. The Water Babies class is one of the many classes that the Blacksburg Parks and Rec Department has to offer for you and your child. Call 961-1135 or visit www.blacksburg.gov slash recreation. Caleb Violet set to kick away the kickoff for Blacksburg. Seth Van Hoosier is lined up deep for Christiansburg, ready to receive it. Kick is away. It's a line drive down the middle. Van Hoosier's trying to field it. He, he gets a hand on it, but he fumbles it a little bit. Now he's got it running around to the left. He's turning back around. He's got nowhere to go. Running around to the outside to the right. And he's gone to about the 25-yard line before any Blacksburg player can get back over to him. Caleb Violet coming in making the tackle on that one. Wow, it looked like he was going to get them inside the 10-yard line, but but number one, Seth Van Hoosier made a good move and cut himself outside, just barely outrunning Aaron Barber to get around the outside and get back out across the 20-yard line to the 25. Nice run there by uh, Seth Van Hoosier for Christiansburg. Looked confused there for a second, though. Much like a deer in headlights. Of course, that'll happen when you're looking at four guys wearing different colored jerseys running right at you. That's probably why I changed direction. And the snap... Caught by number 12, Matt Garnand in the left flat for a five-yard pickup. And now there's a flag on the play. And it wasn't on Tay Ramsey, but he's not happy to see that flag come out. John Cook in on the tackle on that one for Blacksburg. Refs confirm they're coming to talk to a Blacksburg player. No, nope. no, nope, just looking at him. Now they're going to call a penalty. Personal foul on Blacksburg. Not sure who that was on, but I wouldn't let you know anyways because that's not what this is about. This is about these high school kids, not about penalties. So either way, it's a 15-yard uh, personal foul on Blacksburg. That's going to move it up to the Christiansburg 46-yard line where they're going to get a first and 10 for this offense. And the Blacksburg defense trying to stiffen just a little bit. Robert Sturett comes into the game to play safety for Blacksburg now. Making a few personnel changes. Joey Phillips coming off the field. All right, West Bond back under center for Christiansburg. He takes a snap, back to pass, and Tyler Holmes comes racing through from the secondary, untouched to the line to pick up the sack on West Bond. Excellent defensive call by Blacksburg. Tyler Holmes came in untouched to pick up another tackle. This one happens to be a sack. Five-yard loss for Christiansburg. Going to be second down and 15. They're back up to the line quickly with 3.21 left to play. Bond under center takes the snap. He's back to pass. He's got lots of time back there. Rolling out to the right. Flag on the play. Long pass. Greg Keyes knocks it away. Excellent defensive play by Greg Keyes. Jumped up at the last second. Got his hand on that high arcing pass. It was a good pass by Wes Bond. And not too many guys besides Greg Keyes could have made that play with his speed and, and height and jumping ability. 
So uh, chalk that one up to the Blacksburg defense. That could have been a long pass. But there is a penalty on the play. Let's see what it's going to be called. They're talking to some Blacksburg players, so indications that it goes against Christiansburg. Tyler Holmes, Tyler Holmes implementing that it's going to be a holding, and it is on Christiansburg. Take it back 10. That's going to bring up second down and 25 yards for Christiansburg. Three minutes and nine seconds left to play. Blacksburg up 33-13 to 13 over Christiansburg. So right now they're just trying to get anything they can to make it a little bit less embarrassing, I guess. Number 12, Matt Garnon split out left for Christiansburg. They have two receivers to the right. Bond takes the snap. He's back to pass, and he's got some pressure in his face. Tay Ramsey pulls him down for the sack. Another sack for this defense. Tay Ramsey finally gets one on the day. He's hopping around. He is excited. Two minutes and 55 seconds left on the clock. Clock is running, and that's going to make it third down and 10, 20, 30 yards for Christiansburg. Third down and 30. Something tells me they're going to be passing on this one. West Bond brings his team up to the line. Three split wide receivers, one flanker, one halfback. Bond takes a snap. He's back to pass. Ramsey's on him again. He takes off. Bond takes off. He's running around to the left. He's got some. Oh, he fumbled. And Holmes picks it off. Taylor Holmes picks up the fumble. He's running five. Touchdown. Touchdown for Blacksburg. Tyler Holmes picks up the fumble. And the refs haven't seen a touchdown yet. In fact, they're still clambering around where Bond was close to falling over. Oh, they're calling him down. Or no, it's a flag. I didn't even see the flag. But that is a penalty on Blacksburg. So it looks like it's going to be coming back. Either way, that was an amazing play by Holmes. Yep, the ball's coming back. That fumble came out of his bounce, and he just ran up and scooped it up and ran on in for the, for the touchdown. And he's got a giant cast on his hand. It's not easy to pick up a fumble in football. Yeah, it's a penalty on Blacksburg. Blacksburg will get the ball first and 10. But they do still get the ball. That's good. First down and 10 for Blacksburg. Going to be from the Christiansburg 34-yard line. Or are they going to move it back? Not really sure what's going on here, but uh, I believe that Blacksburg has taken a timeout. So we'll take a short break, too. We're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. Be part of a growing movement. Tree City USA, in towns large and small, Tree City USA is making a difference. Plant a tree today for all the world today. Support Tree City USA where you live. Go to arborday.org to learn which trees to plant where. In your yard, on your block, or all around town. At arborday.org, you can find out how to contact your state forester for community forestry assistance. Adding shade, creating beauty, is just part of what they're worth. We care for our town's trees. We plant and prune them. And we plan for their future. Plant trees. For today and tomorrow. <laughs> Go to arborday.org. Two minutes and 21 seconds left to play here at Bill Brown Stadium. The Blacksburg Bruins beating the Christiansburg Blue Devils 33-13, to 13, up by 20 points. And this one is well underhand, folks. Two minutes and 21 seconds left to play. I don't think Christiansburg has enough juice left in the tank to bring this one back, especially considering the Blacksburg just recovered one of their fumbles. And back at quarterback, Josh Parcell is coming onto the field to get some playing time. And he hands it off to the fullback, number 30, Sullivan, who is broken free. And he's rumbling towards the end zone at the 10-5 touchdown, Blacksburg. Charles Sullivan. Charles Sullivan found a big hole in the Christiansburg front, and there's another flag on the play. Another flag. That's Sullivan's biggest run of the year by far. He was playing halfback 
uh, against Salem because of Latrell Key's uh, injured injured ankle. So you know he can run, but he's been a fullback all year too, and he, he really hasn't been able to bust anything long. But this time, takes the ball and just plows through that offensive line. No one even touched him, and he just sprinted ahead for a touchdown. Let's see what the refs give it to him. It's a flag on Blacksburg, but the touchdown is still going to count. It was after the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. So I believe that we'll be enforcing that on the extra point, which is going to make it a little tough on Caleb Violet. And the referees over there now talking to Coach Christ. I think he's a little bit confused. I think most people watching are a little bit confused. There's been a flag here on it's seemingly every single play that's happened on Blacksburg. The past past three or four plays have all been flags on Blacksburg, but doesn't seem to really be phasing them. I mean, they're up 39 to 13 right now. So yeah, this is going to be, uh, they're going to mark that one off on the extra point, so they're going to be kicking the extra point here from uh, the 25-yard line. It's going to be a 35-yard extra point for Caleb Violet. Ball is placed on the 17-yard line. And they're set for the kick. John Cook with the hold. There's a snap. Ball's down. Kick is away. And it's blocked. Blocked at the line. So that's the second blocked extra point for Christiansburg this game. And that leaves the score at 39-13. Bruins leading Christiansburg. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruins High School Football on Super Talk 101.7. Second team, respond to male subject, difficulty breathing, chest pain. Your neighbors helped save a life last night. Be a volunteer. You can help save a life. You provide the time. We'll provide the training. To learn more, call the Blacksburg Rescue Squad at 961-1189. Kayla Violet set up to kick to Christiansburg one more time. Blacksburg leading 39-13 to after an absolute fourth quarter explosion against the Christiansburg Blue Demons. Uh, looks like number one Seth Van Hoosier back to receive the kick, which is away from Violet. Another high arcing kick down to the 10-yard line for Christiansburg. And he takes it to the left, and he's got nowhere to run before he's gang tackled at the 20-yard line by Blacksburg. Ten-yard return on that one for Van Hoosier. And here comes the Blacksburg defense out once again to try and stop Christiansburg. Two minutes and six seconds left in the game. Blacksburg is leading by 26 points. No timeouts left for Christiansburg. Blacksburg has one timeout left. Looks like there's a number of backups on the field for Blacksburg. Number 42... Uh, Chris Beagley's playing at right end. Chris Mabes and number 50 Dustin Price are at DT right now. Quarterback gives it to the halfback for Christiansburg. He takes it out to the right. He's got some running room. He's around uh, He's around the 30-yard line and past the first down marker. That's a first down for Christiansburg. And he's out of bounds, so the clock will stop. Minute 57 left to play. Ball on the Christiansburg 32-yard line. More players for Blacksburg who are in number two, Eric Howard on the field. Number seven, John Cook come back out to play. Number 11, Alex or Austin Kennedy, excuse me, is playing back at, uh, at the safety position. And we also have number 78, Mark Kipps, is playing your left defensive end. Halfback runs out to the left. He's got nowhere to run. He's stringing it out wide before he's taken down by number seven, John Cook, for a gain of about four yards on the play. He's going to leave it at second down and six for Christiansburg. Minute 30 left to play. Clock is running. Blacksburg winning by 26 points. This one pretty much wrapped up. Now we're just uh, making it official, giving the backups a little bit of a time to play. Good times if you're a backup right now. Number seven, West Bond, brings the play into the huddle. Now he's got his team up at the line. Two split outs to the right for uh, Christiansburg. Number five, Will Shorter, and number nine, David Dow. Back to pass. He is rolling out to the right. He's got his man downfield, but he overthrows him. 
out of bounds. Number seven, Wes Bond, tried to hit his receiver, number five, Will Shorter, on the run, but he just overthrew him. And uh, good thing he threw it out of bounds because Greg Keyes was waiting there to take that one back if he picked it off. A minute one left on the clock. This is going to make it third down and six for Christiansburg. And the referee's taking the timeout now. They're explaining something to the huddle in Christiansburg. I got to tell you, Eric Howard is on the field right now, and I, I love watching this guy play. Five foot five, 138 pounds. He's playing at uh, he's playing at defensive back, and believe it or not, he's been on the field a couple times this year, and he can actually hit people. You know, I mean. He only brings 138 pounds, but he's bringing it with all he can bring it, and that's all you can ask for out of these high school players. Justin Huff coming in, playing the left defensive end as well, and number 78, Mark Kipps, has moved into tackle. West Bond takes the snap. He's back to pass. He's looking deep for number 12, Matt Garden, and he well overthrows him into the secondary. Overthrew him by about seven yards on that one. That was a first down play for Christian Burr, first and 10. That'll make it second and 10 now. 55 seconds left on the clock. Blacksburg 39, Christiansburg 13. And Christian Berg comes up to the line. They've got three wide receivers, two to the left, one to the right. West Bond takes the snap, and he hands it off to his halfback, number 23, Keith Johnson, who has just tackled hard in the backfield, and he forces his way back up to the line of scrimmage. Oh, no, he did lose a yard on that one. So now Christiansburg has 11 yards to go on third down, down by 26 points. 32 seconds left on the clock, and the clock is running. Chris Beagley comes off the field. Dustin Price at nose guard. West Bond takes the snap, and he hands it off to his halfback again. Johnson tackled for no gain around the right side of the line. And that's going to do it for the game. Five seconds left. The clock is running out. Blacksburg's going to take it. 39-13. They beat their rival, Christiansburg.